Yeah, it's Slum National Underground, thunder bounds and I stop the ground Like a million elephants, a silverback, a rank tank You can't stop a train, who wants up, don't come unprepared I'll leave there, but when I leave there, better be a household name Brother man telling us it ain't gonna rain So now we sitting in a drop top soaking wet In a silk suit, try not to sweat Hit some of without the neck Good evening. I'm Dr. Tom McCavage here with Mrs. Lockstein, a new teacher here at Council Rock North. Now, last time we met, we placed you in a box and tested your ability to deal with solitary confinement. I believe we, we had you in there for approximately 150 hours, and I, I do believe we have a clip of that now. I see. She's gonna need some heavy medication for this. Well, today, I would like to perform a series of uh, questions and ask you, but please do not hesitate to answer these questions. I would just like the first thing that pops into your mind, I would like that to be your response so I can accurately judge you. Okay. okay. So, we will begin now. Now, what is one word that describes you? Creative. Creative, I see. So you seem like a very creative person. I am. I like to think so. Yeah. Now this next question is a very important one. If you were stranded on a desert island all by your lonesome, what would you be thinking and what would you bring with you? What would I be thinking? I'd be thinking of how to get off the desert island. Um, I'm a people person, so I don't like being alone that much. And probably if I could, I'd bring my husband. <laughs> I see, I see, yes. You seem like you have, a great social, you have many great social skills. Thank you. What is your favorite book and movie? I don't have a favorite book or movie. Oh, I am an avid reader, okay. and I love movies, and like I said, I love the theater. And ironically, that question always comes up when you're, I pay a lot of my bills online, and that question always comes up as one of the security questions, and I never pick it because I yes. don't have an answer. Yes. Now, what activities were you part of back in your high school days? None, because it was in a not so great neighborhood, so I wanted to go home with my friends and back to my friends on the subway. Uh, okay. But had Very I been in activities, I was asked to be in choir and on the tennis team. Okay. okay. What food can you not live without? Chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> That's an easy one. Chocolate. I, I see. Chocolate. You <laughs> must have a sweet tooth. No, just no chocolate sweet? for chocolate, yeah. Very interesting. If you could possess one super superhero power, what would it be? Okay, superhero power. Actually, I'd like the power to be able to pull up any power I need at the time, but if I had to pick one, it would be flying, because that would make travel easy. I wouldn't have to put up with the airports and go wherever I want, when I want. Are you impatient? Not really, but hmm. with the students I am, hmm. in my profession. Yes, sir. What is the best piece of advice you have ever received? Not to let anybody tell you that you can't do something and to try your best to achieve what you want. Okay. And what courses do you currently teach at this Council Rock High School North? At North, I've been here since November of 07 teaching life skills support. Okay. Um, which is a group of students who need to learn how to live independently and need to learn vocational skills, housekeeping skills, those type of things. If you had a DeLorean and gunned it to 88, what time frame would you go back to? Uh, actually, I wouldn't go back to a particular other era. I would go back in my life and do a, something different with my career. And what kind of animal do you think best represents you? A lion. A lion. A lion. I am um, like a mama cub. Mama, mama I protect my cubs, I protect my family, my okay. friends, my students. Just don't, you know, don't cross me when it comes to them. They have to get the best. And also, I, my zodiac sign happens to be Leo, so ah. I guess I associate with that that way. And Leos are very particular about their mane. <laughs> yes, yes, I, so in that respect, I have quite a wonderful name yes, myself you do. here. I was admiring it. Oh, thank you. So, you would want to look like this. I wouldn't want to look like if you would want to look like this? Oh, that's exactly it. <laughs> that is what you'd want to look like. Mm -hmm. Now I perform, I'm going to show you different images and I would like you to tell me what you see in them. Okay. So, our first image. Ah, the Statue of Liberty with a pigeon. Okay, okay. 
And for the second image. Huh. The Eiffel Tower with a pigeon. Hmm. There's a lot of pigeons in your picture. It's very interesting that you say that. Hmm. And for this third well, at image? least now you have one of the jungle with my lion in it, thanks. Ah, that's good. Much better. And our fourth picture. Leaning Tower of Pisa with a pigeon. Hmm. Very impressive. Very impressive. Uh, 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 uh